Alright, new pet model video after like a super long time of not having one. Uh, for this team right here, I want to go back and try out a lot of the past meta teams and see if they still work. So the first one I wanted to try out was the Haunt Dodge combo. Since the Terra Claw Hatchling got a nerf, it's no longer the go-to pet as the stall pet. Because what you do with the old Terra Claws, you'd bring them in, you'd use Dodge and Nature's Ward to heal up and not take damage for a bit. And since they move Nature's Ward and Dodge to the same tier, you can't do that anymore. And part of what also made it really good was that it was a flying type pet with Alpha Strike. So it also always went first when it did all these kinds of things, which made Dodge great, which made it do a lot of damage, and it was always healing. You can swap it on the back row to heal even more. It was really overpowered. So as kind of an alternative pet to replace it, I went with the Hydra Wisp since it too is a fast pet with a dodge and a heal. It's not really on the same level as the Terra Claw Hatchling. That's why the Terra Claw was always used over it. But Hydra Wisp is also good. It's like the only good magic type pet. Uh, unless you count Alec Plushy or the Servant of Demidas, which I don't really. Alec Plushy is a, a gimmick. Demidas is also kind of a gimmick. Um... They also nerfed Haunt again, rightfully so. Uh, now, Haunt doesn't actually say this on the tooltip. They'll, they'll, they'll maybe change it eventually. There are some abilities that don't work the way their tooltip tells it does, says it does. Basically, Haunt, when you use it and you come back to life, you lose 50% of your health. So if you use it twice, it's going to kill you. Um, but with Wish, it's a 50% heal. So, you know, if you haven't really taken much damage or you don't want to use the Wish on your Hydra Wisp, you can swap into the Wicked Soul and heal it up for an extra Haunt. Or to keep the Haunts going, you know, more than just two before he dies. Or just give yourself one extra Haunt. And that's really all you need in order to put the battle in your favor. I didn't actually figure that out until I was testing the team. Like, 100% I put the Hydra Wisp in here because it had a dodge and a wish, so it could heal itself. Unintentional synergies with wish also being usable on the Wicked Soul, so that they can haunt one extra time. And the Fiendish Jimp is still just a solid pet. With its uh, Nether Gate and Immolation, it didn't really see any changes, unlike Wicked Soul or the Terra Claw Hatchling. So it's the only pet of the Haunt Dodge combo that's still good. Uh, overall, this team performs fine. <laughs> It's not as overpowered as it used to be, but it's still good if you're playing the team correctly. Alright, well, looks like we're good to go. Maybe. Hopefully I remember to... Uh, shit, is he gonna go for Cocoon Strike right off the bat? If he does, I'm screwed. If he doesn't, then I should be fine. Oh no. Outplayed again. Okay, I am very reliant on a haunt in order to swap me out. So I'm just going to stay in and just like Shadow Shock. I don't think I would really benefit too much from swapping out right here. Especially since if I can get him below 50% health, I'll have the advantage. I'll have the speed advantage, which completely kills the moth's viability. Without speed, none of its abilities scare me. A Shadow Shock on a low hit could mean the death of my Wicked Soul, in which case I won't be able to use Haunt on my next turn. Oh, come on! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> At least he went for a Cocoon Strike. A Moth Dust is going to kill me. A Haunting Song is not going to save me from that. I want him to stay alive so I can get off with a Haunt. Because this moth is going to kill me right here. Uh, I'm going to swap. I don't know if this is a good idea. I'm out of practice. Old me would have known immediately if that was a good idea to do or not. Because I can't really swap into the wicked soul now. Because if I do, he's going to die. I can only swap into him if one of my pets die. Uh, he does have dreadful breath. 
you know, I was just thinking, like, hey, this guy doesn't have any AoE, so I can leave him on the back row and we'll be totally fine. No, he has dreadful breath. Oh, that's why he totally went into the Scourge Weapling. If he swaps back in, he definitely has dreadful breath, and I gotta swap out. Uh, if not, yeah, he definitely has dreadful breath. Okay, I gotta bring in the Wicked Soul since he's gonna die in the back row anyway. The only reason he would bring him back in is to use Dreadful Breath. Ooh! Ooh, he set up a Death and Decay! What a classic blunder! This allows me to use Haunt. Oh, that was not the smart thing. You should have just went straight for the Dreadful Breath. Uh, cause like, why else? Ooh! Ooh, Hydra Wisp against the Scourge Welpling. This isn't the best thing in the world. I'm going to go for an Arcane Blast just to kind of like feel him out. He doesn't have Dreadful Breath. What? I took that risky action for nothing. Uh, okay, I'm going to stack up Arcane Blast. I'll probably save my dodge for his turn of immunity. Oh, he swapped out with Hunt. That works. He's going to heal up a little bit though with Death and Decay and Plague Blood though. I see. If I swap out, he won't get any Death of Decay shit. We have the same exact speed. Um, whatever. I do need speed for my pet to be effective, but having equal speed is fine, too. Because I can just use Wish now. He's going to heal up through Puppies of the Flame and Plague Blood. I don't really care. Uh, Haunt does more damage than he's healing. He probably won't die in the back row. But also, I'll be fine too, to an extent. Let's just go for a dodge right here. Because when he comes up, that means he won't be able to attack me. And I'll get my full heal off, and I now have Arcane Blast fully stacked. Yeah. That was the correct course of action right there. Okay. By the looks of it, we have a family familiar team, because they have all of the good uh, magic type pets in one team. You know how I can tell? Because the only good magic pet is Hydral Wisp. <laughs> and he's starting off with it. Um, I think we can just go straight into Haunt. There's no reason to really save it. What's with this music? It sounded a little bit different than normal. Oof. I forgot. Uh, if I'm going to add music to this, I need to turn off the in-game music. I'm sure you guys can hear it a little bit. I'm not going to do that. I'm just not going to add my own music in. How about that? That'll be good. So we have Haunt going. I'm faster. Uh, I can just swap them out. Looks like I'm going to get the Haunt swap going. Whoa, and it did so much damage to him that he took all of that damage in the back row. My Phoenix Imp is faster than the Hydra Wisp. I'd rather not have a Wisp off if I can avoid it. But I also need my Phoenix Imp in the back row for this strategy to be his most effective. He's going to go for a Wish right off the bat. Okay, I'm going to go into my Hydra Wisp then and start stacking up Arcane Blast. Oh, <laughs> he used Wish to swap into Servant of Demidas? Wow. I'm going to assume he's going to go for a Siphon Anima, so I'm going to dodge. So that he can't heal. Yep, great assumption on my part. I'm going to start stacking up Arcane Blast now. Uh, luckily it's low damage means I'll be able to kill the Servant of Demidas and have it fully stacked up for his backline two pets, both of which kind of screw with my speed, so I won't be able to tactically dodge shit. So I'm probably just going to stay until the Wisp. Oh, you know what? I just discovered something. What if I wish and then swap into my Wicked Soul <laughs> and heal him up all the way? And then, like, haunt. Let's see if this works. Oh, he went for a counter spell. Ooh. Looks like I get another haunt. Oh, oh. Unintentional synergies. I'll probably talk about this. You see, I record the battles before I do the end of video roundup, which I put at the beginning of the video. So... Let's see, he has Blink Strike, so he's probably going to use that. So I'm just going to use this turn to refresh Immolation. 
because I can't outspeed him anyway. And then I'm going to swap him out. Now that... Oh, he's just going to blink strike again. Good good idea. Why would you use the counter spell now that I think about it if he's if I'm faster? Well, whatever. Okay, Hygel Wisp versus... What was I talking about? Oh, yeah. I record the battles before I do the thing at the beginning of the video where I talk about the team. So... Uh, I just discovered a great synergy with this team, and I'm probably going to talk about it in the beginning of the video as if I thought of it myself. <laughs> okay, uh, I need to fully stack up my Arcane Blast again. Hey look, we're going to wish each other. And now I'm going to go for a dodge. <laughs> Oof. See, this is why Hydro Wiss is not a high tier one pet. His speed is just not... Good enough. He's fast. But when you're going against other decent pets, it's just not fast enough. 